praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Giving honor to the man Christ Jesus. Who's the head of my life? It is an honor. Yes. And it is a pleasure to stand before you. Yes. We are not of our own. We belong to Jesus. Yes. Oh, yes. Amen. So when there is an invitation, we should accept the invitation because if one person's heart is touched, you have done your job. Amen, amen, amen. amen. Hallelujah. 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 Let me take the time to acknowledge Episcopal Father. Bless the Lord, beloved. To the speaker, um, Minister Randa. To the prior speaker, Minister Ordeen. Ordeen. Bless the Lord. To the Minister Ordeen. To Dr. Bonnie. Bless the Lord. Thank you for having me here. Amen. So I listened to speaker number one. I listened to speaker number two. Amen. But then I heard that it's the 30th anniversary. Yes. yes. And quickly in my thoughts, I said, oh, Jesus started his ministry at age 30. So there is something brewing. Um, not that it was already existing, but there is something that is to come. I also realized that most of the Aaronic priests they started at age 30. Go ahead. We understand that Jesus, he was sold for 30 pieces of silver. We understand that God and Abraham had a little conversation and he was going down by numbers and he said, if at least 30 be righteous. Yes. Oh God, please save yes. Sodom and Gomorrah. And when we talk about Sodom and Gomorrah, people get confused. Yes. Sodom and Gomorrah was only doing the things of not of God. They were lying, they were cheating, they were doing all other things. Get it out of your head. Sodom and Gomorrah is much more than what people think it is. Yes. Go ahead. Yes. Unhospitable. They were unhospitable. We yes. understand yes. that 30 has power. And when you understand the three of the triangle, yes. you know, we don't want to talk about that because that's not what I'm here for. Go ahead. But just to understand that 30 is significant. Yes. 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 So I listened to the first speaker. She already gave an explanation as to the psalm being a song, and it was written by the sons of Korah. My Lord. And she said, um, in the time of when it was written, it was a catastrophic chaos, chaos. Yes. troublesome times. Yes. And she also talked about it being for the nation of Israel. Yes. And even though it was to them at that point, it applies to us now. Yes. Amen. So that no matter what happens, we can rest in God's promise because he said to be still and know that he is God. And I'm going to jump because I don't want to repeat what was said because it takes away from the speakers. When we look at what's happening, in Russia right now. We're always wondering what is the next move. There's a lot of commotion going on. And on top of that, we also are afraid of what is going to happen if China decides to act also. So our pride and our freedom is going to be challenged at some point. We understand that when nations are agitated, like the waves of the sea, God wants us to be still yes. and know that he is still God. Yes. Right. No matter how bad things get, yes. we can always come on his comforting presence. Yes. Because he said to be yes. still. Oh, yes. When we look at what Teacher Rwanda had also said about the command, yes, we are to observe the commands that God gave us. And if we don't observe the commands, it means that we are willfully disobedient. 
obedient to the word of God. Amen. And there is always a price to pay. There is a verse that says, to behold. And when we talk about behold, we know that we are to look, we are to see, because there is something there to behold. But when we understand that if God tells you to behold, it doesn't mean that you're going to be still and watch. Yeah. Some of us fail to realize to be still, you're still in prayer, you're still in the yes. presence of God. Right. But you're looking for when God is ready to do a new thing. God is always in the business of doing a new thing. But because we are so busy doing busy things and keeping ourselves busy, we miss the moment that God wanted to bless us. You see, a blessing might be for us, but if we don't practice to position ourselves right. and be still, the blessing is going to pass us by. Go ahead. I'm jumping again because I don't want to touch what was already said. So we understand that the psalm was written um, when the Assyrian Empire was the mightiest on the globe. Yes. Like how Russia is today. Yes. They have already overrun a lot of small countries. Yes. But we understand that no matter who has a plan to take over the world, God's plan will never change. We might be mighty, we might be powerful, but we are not God. So that we understand that regardless of what is going on in the world, God has another plan. And when we talk about to be still and know that I am God, we are to be quiet. My Lord. We are to, as somebody said, to surrender. We are to drop our arms. Most of us are walking in with our hands in our pocket. And as you say, hey, they pull out and ready to fight. Yes. But God is saying, be still. Don't feel that you need to chase after everything that comes at you. All right. Sometimes the arrow is coming at you, but if you move, you will get hurt. Because God said it will drop but it will not come. Amen. Amen. But we want to move faster than God. Amen. But, but to be still and understand the stillness, we need to have an intimate relationship with God. Amen. You see, if you do not have an inter intimate relationship with God, how are you going to learn to be still and listen to Him? If you do not have a relationship with someone, how could you sit still and listen to them? Right. You might sit. You might listen, but you're not going to be doing as yes. God expects you to do. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. If we are to be still, it means that we have to drop our guns, quiet ourselves, find that inner peace. Because if you do not have the inner peace, mm -hmm. you will not be able to stand. You will always have a war going on in your head because you hear and somebody say. You will always be thinking, if I go here, I wonder who's watching. I wonder who has something to say. Find that peace that is within. We say that, you know, to live peaceably among men, if it be possible, because not all men want peace. So that the peace must start with you. And if it's possible, and you can live peaceably amongst all men, then do just that. But what I want to impress upon, upon us tonight, let us stop playing games. Amen. Let us bind together and pray as if, you know, we are depending on God. Because we depend on God. We need God. God does not need us. We need God. We are to understand that we need the time alone with God. We need to have quietness and stillness to hear the Spirit speak. That there is so much noise that it blocks out our ability to discern the voice of God. When we understand who God is and the enormity of God's character, you will always find time to be still. Right. We understand that, you know, physically, we're busy. We're going to work, we're going to church, we're going to shop, we're going to do everything. We will calendar every event 
but we will not calendar time for God. So many of us, when Sunday comes, it is a debate if we are going to go to church. But it is not a debate to go to work, but it is a debate to serve God. Uh -huh. What will happen? Uh -huh. But we have to understand, come what may, we must put aside time to serve. Uh -huh. yes. you, want to, you want to be still? Find yourself in the presence of God. Uh -huh. Too many times, we take it for granted because this is a culture thing. Yes. You know, we can come, wash, cook, clean. Mm -hmm. Sunday, maybe go to church, but it's to make Sunday dinner. The best of the best. Mm -hmm. And then we start the cycle again to get ready for Monday morning. Yes. And when you come to church and you spend two hours, three hours, you are agitated yes. because yes. you're ready to go. Yes. But you forget that you're supposed to be silent. All right. In the But what we have to understand that is critical to our faith. The more we are deliberately still, the more we are going to hear the voice of God. The more we are deliberately still, we are going to better recognize God's activity in our lives. The more we are deliberately still, the smaller our issues will see. Yes. So that we don't get swallowed Amen. by this. The more we are deliberately still, the bigger God appears. Because yes. now you're seeing God for who he is. The more we are deliberately still, the more we follow God's divine purpose yes. for us. Not Jesus. our own agenda, hmm. our own ideas and our own ability. Because some of us, we get high shouldered. Mm -hmm. I could do this, do that, say that. I could talk, I could write, I could do all sorts of stuff. But if you don't take time in the presence of God, all that you know will become useless. Yes. Because we no, serve no, a God no. who will shut your yes. mouth, yes. shut your head, yes. shut your eyes, yes. and force you to be still yes. in his presence. Yes. understand that God wants us to be still. It doesn't mean that you're going to just stand there. Because I can stand and be very still and don't have not a thing in my head concerning God. But, you know, when we look at the kind of thoughts we have sometimes, our thoughts get us in trouble. <laughs> our thoughts will say, you know, I can use it. Yes, go ahead. You see, <laughs> Minister, you know, and you start to go in all different directions. What you think you hear, what, what you thought you know, yes. what you feel you know. Yes. And your mind just going from one thing to the next, from one person to the next. And before you know it, you lay down to sleep, you never sleep because all night you're thinking about things that does not pertain to the power of God. I want us to understand, being still means that we have to keep our thoughts in alignment with the word of God. If you think that Thoughts are bad. Thoughts can make you have low self-esteem. Yes. You start to judge yourself. Yes. But I can't do it. Gosh, I messed up, but I, I probably wouldn't be able to ever do it again. Mm -hmm. That is your thought. Mm -hmm. If you steal this thought and allow God to come in and do yes. some work on you, right. you will be surprised to see the difference mm -hmm. in the way you carry about yourself. Mm -hmm. It is not easy to shut down the mind. The mind keeps going, but we have to be in control. Mm -hmm. If you don't explain, I say, I talk to myself. Listen, yes. enough is enough, I need to sleep. Okay, you lay down and you start to pray. And in the midst of praying, some foolish thought comes to you. It has happened. Yes. 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 But 
We're trying to focus and concentrate on God. So that means whenever you are placed to stay and be still, don't think that negative thoughts wouldn't come. It waiting right there for the minute you take your mind off the things of God to step in. We want to be still. However, our way of life makes us don't want to surrender to God. <coughs> when we look at our fasting and morning session, it is a period to be still and to know who God is. Yes. It is a period to cleanse our mind and our body and our spirit. Yes. But if you leave your house with the intention to come and lay down and have a good time, what you're wasting your time for? Because you will not be still because your mind is going to be we thinking about the house, the children, the car, the yes. 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 But you came to be still. Yes, ma'am. You see, what happens is that a lot of us don't practice meditation. Um, it is something that is not culturally what we do. But I've come to understand, yes. if you take 15 minutes of every day yeah. and sit and be still wow. and allow God to take over, you would see the difference. Yes. You see, not everybody is able to go and fast and move. <laughs> so that if that is their problem, they can't do it. It doesn't mean that they don't have an opportunity to get still and to be in the presence of yes, God. You see, when we are forced to surrender, it puts us in, 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 in enmity with God. Because we're fighting against the God who's trying to do the things for us. And we know that we could be very busy doing nothing. You ever know that you're busy doing this, doing that, doing the yeah. other, and it comes to naught? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you put God in the equation? No. Mm -hmm. If you have things doing, and you realize it's overwhelming, if you take 15 minutes and be still, and when you come back to what you were doing, it just starts to ripple over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We are afraid to stay still because some of us keep busy because we don't want to deal with things that needs to be dealt with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's easier to sit down and watch some TV, watch some movies, and by the time we think about what we need to think about, we have no more energy yes. left. Yes. So that we avoid the things that we need to do in the process of not wanting to be still. Mm -hmm. We have so many things that we have within us. And if we allow the things that are not good for us to fill us, what are we giving to God? How can we be still if we are full of stuff that doesn't belong in there? Many times, because we are not able to be still, we lose opportunities. True. We lose relationships. True. And we lose dreams that we had because we are busy doing everything else but taking time to sit down and meditate on what needs to be done. We understand that our thoughts make us very fearful because our thoughts are like a raging wind. It's like a violent storm. And, you know, with the violent storm, we understand that Jesus said to the storm to be still. When we have our thoughts going on, are you able to tell your thoughts to be still? Do you have that understanding that you cannot run away from issues? You cannot run away and say, today, I don't need to be still because I have enough things to keep me busy. That is not what God wants. He said to be still and to know that he is God. Yes. So if you are being still, it means that you are going to God for strength. Yes. You are understanding that you cannot let go of God because yes. he is your help time of trouble. Yes. He is your refuge. Oh, yes. He is your Elohim God. He is your Jehovah God. He said that he is the I am that I am. So if he is the I am that I am, it means that we got to find time to come in connection with that God. Yes. My Lord, my Lord. Have you ever been to a place where you should not be. You're in a party and you have music playing and you're having a wonderful time. 
and then all of a sudden the thoughts change yes. mm -hmm. and the thoughts change because you have no business being there oh my God. and you're trying to wrestle with the thoughts because you want to have a good time but when we understand who God is we surrender yes. to surrender means you are going to let go yes. we have to understand if we want to be still we cannot still want to fight our war oh we still cannot have people in our minds we still cannot say that we don't like this one and we don't like that no. one we are all children of God so if God So if you don't like me, it means you don't like God. Oh, yeah. 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 That is something that people don't seem to understand. He said that yeah. and he made a plane. He yes, created man. us in his yeah. 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 own yeah. image. Yeah. And he liked it. Yeah. Yeah. So that means when I look at you, I must, I must right. see the God in you. Yeah. So if it is that we can only see the bad things in people. Mm -hmm. It means we have a problem with God. Amen. Yes. 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 So I don't wow. want to have a problem with God. Yes. I want that I must be able to see the goodness. Oh, yes. We are not perfect yeah. beings. God did not make us so perfect for a oh, particular so reason. True. You ever know Paul had a thorn in his side. Uh -huh. yes. And it was meant to keep him in check with uh -huh. and I like it. Yes. Uh -huh. When we have issues to come here tonight, all of a sudden the tonsils start to hurt. <laughs> I say, all right. I'm not sick, I'm not feeling sick. I say, you know what? Come what may, we are going. Yes. You know, by the time I sit here, be sure to get good. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. So if I had bothered with what I was feeling, yeah. I would stay home and say, you know what, I'm not feeling well tonight. But the devil is alive. Yes. Yes. I am going to be still because all when I'm coming down the road, I say, Lord, I hope this thing clear up. But you know, every time you make a step, the busy adversary is yes. right next. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Remember Job? Yes. Yes. When the sons of God were called yes. by God himself, yes. Satan presented himself yes. right yes. next to them. Yes. So who are we? My Lord. My God. My God. If you want to enjoy the life that you have, you have to fight and learn to discern when things are meant to distract you. Yes. And distract you to the point where you can no longer concentrate on God. When you are distracted is the time when everything looks right, sounds right, but it is not for the purpose and time. Mm -hmm. We have to understand that we serve God and we must serve Him in spirit and in truth. Oh, yes. Yes. We must not serve Him tomorrow and decide that tomorrow I'm too busy, I can't serve Him. Mm -hmm. yeah. It means that we have to set aside time in the presence of God. We cannot be so busy doing every other thing and not take time to meditate. Take time to be still. If you are not still, how can anybody deal with you? You're always moving. You're always moving. Some people say a rolling stone gathers no more. All right, fine. But if you don't sit still, how can I attend to you? How can I talk with you if you're always busy, 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 busy? Right. We have to stop and stay still. Allow God to pour into us. Yes. And when God starts to pour into us, we get still. We get still because you hear something and it sounds good. And then before you know it, you hear something else. And then all of a sudden, we learn to be still. Because if I need something from God, I better make up my mind to spend some time in the presence of yes. God. Yes. Some people are lucky to get things one, two, three. I have to constantly pray. Yes. I constantly have to find myself in the presence of God because when God chooses you to do his work, he does not make it easy for you. Oh he will bless you, 
Of course. Mm -hmm. But he will put you through some trials and ah. tribulations. That if you don't take the time to be still, you are not going to be able to survive every trial that God puts you through. Yeah. We want to be diamonds, but we're not willing to take that friction yeah. that causes the diamond to shine. All right. Yeah. As yeah. church members, we have to learn something called respect. Respect, people say it's a two-way street. I, I get that. But when we understand that when God places people in authority, we have to humble mm -hmm. and be still. Amen. Not everything needs an answer. It is good to be silent. If you are if you are able to practice to be silent, I can sit down and listen to you talk for two hours um, and not say a word. That is something I learned in chaplaincy. Yes. Chaplaincy requires you to be quiet. Listen. Listen, listen, listen. Be quiet and listen. So that if it is that we want to move, to, to move in different directions, we need to stop talk so much and be quiet. Amen. Amen. God wants to work. He doesn't want you to jump in front of him. Whatever God has for us, he's going to give it to us, but in his time. So that when we are waiting, we are to be still and know that God is there with us. Tonight, I give God thanks and praise. Amen. Because I realize that this is for me. Yes. Amen. I am busy doing 10 million things yes. on a daily basis. And by the time I settle down at night, I'm tired. And by the time I start to pray, I fall asleep. Amen. That's the But when I get up in the morning, and before I start to think about where I need to be today, I start to pray within my heart because I want God to hold me together today. Yes. My father was sitting there and he said, um, but I don't hear you praying. <laughs> <laughs> because there is a time and a place yes. to um, be loud. True. My son is here tonight, um, which is a surprise. Um, he came. Don't worry about the church clothes. <laughs> worry about the heart. That's right. That's right. You see, God has to do a new thing, so I need to be still. Amen. We have Deaconess Bellamy. <laughs> minute I said, I have the invitation, she said she'll be here. Amen. I had nothing more to say. Amen. When we understand how God works, He is going to put things in place. I don't have to put nothing in place. Yes. Whoever is here is because God wanted them to be here. Yes. Practice to be still. Mm -hmm. yes. Listen to the voice of God. Amen. If you are seeking God, be still. The whole world doesn't have to know. Yes. Too many times we talk and we block our own blessings. Mm -hmm. All right. You see, when God is doing a work, He doesn't tell everybody, does He? Yes. No. No. He yes. does what He has to do, whether or not you like it. Yes. And that's it. But when we have something to do, we want to tell Tom, Jane, Harry, and then when it doesn't become a success, we want to blame God. Praise the name of the Lord. But I want to tell you tonight, this was for me. To slow down and to be still. Allow God some more time. Because there are things that I need in this life. Yes. Not cash, not, not finances, mm -hmm. but I need to be in a certain place. You could find your God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. I want that I must be able on a daily basis consistently mm -hmm. yes. to present my body yes. holy yes. and acceptable Amen. unto Amen. God. Amen.
Hallelujah. Satan go before him and heaven and earth and adore him. him. What a mighty God is so. Words to keep us. Yeah. Words that we must believe. Yes, sir. Words. What must I say again? I thank God. Amen. Amen. I thank God that He has kept me alive that I can be here today. Amen. So I just want to bless each and every one that come tonight. Those that speak, God bless you. God bless you all that you all could come and give us a word and on our 30th anniversary. And I would like to see you all again on Sunday. Yes, praise God. Praise the Lord. And I will turn over the part of the service to my spiritual mother, Dr. Bonnie John. We praise the Lord. I am redeemed most by his blood. Jesus has saved my whole life. If anybody asks you, just go. to congratulate each and every one individually. Did you run down? I've known you for so many years. Such a long time. And uh, tonight uh, you made me proud. Hallelujah. And thank you for the inspiration of the Holy Spirit that enabled you to allow a seed to be sowed on behalf of Isaiah's temple. We truly appreciate because uh, to run a church is not easy and there is always something that is needed. So the thought is especially accepted, blessed, and received. Congratulations. You spoke well. Thank you. To our second speaker, Mother Ordeen. Mother Ordeen, the angels of God walks with you. And you know there's a sanky that we sing or it's a hymn. And he walks with, with me and he talks with me and he tells Grace. 
Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in it he shall meditate day and night. That you may become a tree that is planted by the rivers of water. And that whatsoever you do it shall prosper. Hallelujah. Thank you for coming. Thank you for accepting our invitation. You did excellently well. And I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you because I laid hands upon you. To help to make you who you are today. Amen. And may God continue to build upon you as you grow from strength to strength. Give it up for Teacher Grace. Yeah. May your ministry flourish. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' almighty name. Amen. To the visitors this evening, all to my staff, to Bishop Maurice. I thought you would have come forward and give us a few words. <laughs> we just bless God for you. We thank God for you. And we are indeed happy Amen. that you were all able to come. I see that the members are getting ready to admonish you all with a little love. Amen? Amen. And so I pray that you will all return yes. Yes. and sup with us Amen. through the grace and mercies Amen. of Almighty God. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you. Amen.